Hey, guess where we are? Castle Lake. Castle Lake. So I had to do some exploring this morning. So we took a drive up quite a bit and saw we're seeing Castle Lake and we'll hit Lake. I'm going to butcher this. Go ahead, Courtney, Sisky try it. Siskiyou. Sisky I have no idea on the way back down before we go to Mount Shasta. The town, not the mountain. Check out Mount Shasta, or as I like to call it, the Shasta. As you can see, we just kind of pull over to the side of the road so I can get my shots. Uh, there's Courtney being, being Courtney. Courtney doing strange and peculiar Courtney things. I just called you strange and peculiar. I married you. <laughs> <laughs> Well played. <laughs> Apparently they don't want you to leave your trash here. Who knew? I'm sure people do. Well, that looks pretty clean so far. People may fall the sun. This is the lake. We can't pronounce it trail. Okay, look at the size of these trees. They are gigantic. It's been a long time since I've seen a tree that big. I'm gonna do more videos about my photography, but one of the things I love to look for is a foreground element and a beautiful background element. So that fishing boat right there was, I guess, the, previous, uh, the perfect foreground element to Mount Shasta in the background. So I will show that to you here. What do you think about this trail, Courtney? It's lovely. There's a large trail up above where you can only see the lake a little bit, but then there's an alternate route that's thinner, smaller, but it's closer to the lake edge. And it's just sun dappled and green and shady and lovely. And right by the lake. Right by the lake. This spot is another good example of what I like to look for. It's not just the lake or just Mount Shasta. You're combining the two, but when you get and get that third element, then it makes the shot even better. So there's a bridge out there that I saw, and I got myself in the right position to take this shot. And then there is a boat that just passed by. So I, I happened to be in the right position, so I took this shot. And I think they all turned out pretty well. But yeah, it's just, some of it's just dumb luck, but a lot of it's just getting yourself in the right position at the right time and just kind of sitting around and seeing what happens. So eventually you're gonna get that perfect foreground element and on a lake, it could very well be a boat, kayak, any kind of, well, um, sea craft. We are at the Mount Shasta City Park, which is actually the headwaters of the Sacramento River, which is kind of crazy that it all starts here. But it also has a natural spring that's supposed to have amazing tasting water. Um, and so we're gonna go try some. Refreshing. The sign said it's not an approved source of drinking water and that it's not tested, but uh, we've been told by lots of people it's, it's good. Lots of people, locals and tourists alike here are getting water, so it's nice. You don't often get to uh, drink water from a spring. I probably wouldn't drink the water once it's in Sacramento. No. But here, you're probably safe. From the source. And everybody does it, so if this was deadly water, people would be dying all over the place. We'd be stepping over bodies. That's not the case. So uh, I think it's a well-calculated risk. Yes. yes. Lots of people out looking like they're setting up picnics. It's a nice park. There's a big playground 
Lots of green area, benches, picnic tables, all free. Very nice. One thing you quickly get used to when you're out here in the middle of nowhere is seeing some weird stuff. So first, these dudes were out in this, they were driving around in this ATV, but it had eight wheels, so four on each side. And it seemed to be an on-road, in-water kind of vehicle where it would kind of float around out there, at least in shallow water. So you can drive it out into the lake, at least to some degree, and not get stuck. But it was loud and kind of annoying. They finally left. We thought we were in the clear. Not so fast. The two trucks came down blasting mariachi music. Were parked probably 20, 30 yards that way. And then these guys, like 20 of them got out drinking beer. Like they each, they each had a bottle of beer in their hand for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Then they all loaded back in their truck and left and now they're climbing that hill and we can in their truck and we can still hear the mariachi and we can music. still hear some of the mariachi music that was very very um i didn't have my camera on me at the time so unfortunately i could not get it filmed but uh it's a i don't night. i don't i don't know yeah. i i don't no. The rest of the people here, if you notice, I don't know if you could, if you show them any, there's a guy with his dogs who he's throwing stuff out for his dogs in the lake. And then there's some fishermen. And then there's us, we're sitting here drinking tea and coffee and I'm knitting. And we have some other campers sitting out over by their campers. So it's all very calm and quiet. And then we get others. Yeah, you'll get, you'll get company out here on the weekend regardless of where you are, especially if you're near a lake, because yeah, this is a this point is, of congregation for people. This is a public access beach slash camping area for this lake, and it's completely free. So if it was a pay for, you might get a little less of that, but... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I just think it's funny. I don't, I, I can't begin to wonder what is going on with some of these groups of people that we've been you know, that you'll see occasionally uh, when you're out in the middle of nowhere. So, uh, very interesting, very interesting. 